Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back. Let's play The Walking Dead Season 2. Where last we left off, we came across some new people and were locked in a shed because they were uh, unsure that they didn't really believe our story about being bitten by a dog. Now, one thing I just want to make a note of is that, uh, you know, after I recorded the, la the last video, I stopped recording. Uh, or whatever, and so this is the next day of uh, you know, th th this is a different day from the previous video but um the checkpoint the game actually checkpointed at a weird place and so I actually had to like redo some stuff and I chose some different options and I noticed that that um the responses to the options were actually kind of not different like um there's a there's a bit where we were we were walking with the fella and last time I I told him let me go and he said, like, uh, I wish I could, but uh, it's too risky. But this time I said, uh, you know, if you ever find the dog, will, will you kill it or something like that? And, uh, and, then, and he said the same thing. Like, oh, I wish I could, but it's too risky. But we're weird. But, um, let's look for a way out of the shed or see what all is in the shed that we can interact with. Look at Life Preserver. Not sure this will do you too much good in these times. Seems to be your standard tool shed. And what do you know? It has tools. We cannot reach them. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Want something done, you gotta do it yourself, as they say. And pry it or pull it. I think it'd be a good idea to like bring the box to stand on. All right. I think that's that's sturdy. I'm not sure if I've ever seen something like that. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna catch some attention. Or maybe not. All that for a hammer. Find a way into the cabin and obtain a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. <laughs> so we're kind of 
Walking Dead Metal Gear, basically. Come on. We go in the front door, front door, but that doesn't seem like it would be a very good idea. We've uh, seemed to, you know, gained quite a bit of consciousness. We've gone, we, we've gone from like nearly passing out to a. Uh, being able to walk around and make conscious decision. I wonder what this is all about. Well, I was thinking that was going to happen, honestly. Uh, like, not there, but when we were trying to pry open the toolbox with our knife, I, I was thinking it was going to break. Sitting at the kitchen door. Let's uh, look for something. We definitely do not want to be caught if we if we do not want to be violently murdered. Uh, list of names. We go up those stairs. Hopefully these floorboards are not oh so creaky. Gone fishing. 
Bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. I'm gonna have some peroxide in here. Oh, a needle. I must say mirrors in video games. Still, like, like that, that. Still need some bandages and something to keep it from getting infected. Clementine in the mirror. Well, this looks fine, but the, but that one shot, like you, you could tell, it was like very, like much a lower resolution. No peroxide. That man from home. We've been had. Uh oh. Uh, hide. There's the shower. No one will look into the shower unless they're wanting to take a shower. Some Mori Povich Walking Dead. Oh man. You're not supposed to be in here. Thank you for telling me something I don't know. Don't make a sound, don't tell anyone else. Can you help me? Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me on uh What will he do? Hi. Nothing else? Yeah. Ben's the worst. <laughs> what happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it up. And something to wrap it with. Bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what the supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in bed? I'm, I'm Clementine. Yeah, I was wondering about their age, like... And that's it. Yes. We are friends. Promise? Like, she got like a weird look, like she could be like 30 years old, but also could be Clementine's age. He said yes. Fine. I get it. Oh, what the... I said yes. It's not the same. <sighs> Promise. Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Sure, what a, what's up with this girl? I 
think this is it? That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone won't find you. Turns out she actually gave us some sort of poison. You got peroxide. Let's check this final bedroom. I think that she said they they don't have any more bandages, but uh, could, could, I don't know, use it, use it, use a towel or something, some sort of cloth. Watch, what time is it? Global, the glo global menace or something. There's nothing in here. Oh, rags. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Open desk drawer. Uh, that's some definitely a bit creaky steps. So all of a sudden from behind Bristol here, where do you think you're going? Hydrogen peroxide. I've never used the peroxide on a wound. Like, you know, I've uh, put it in my mouth quite a few times. Like if I had like a ulcer or something, but I've never uh, used it on open wounds like that. This is gonna suck. Probably because I've never really had any sort of big open wounds. I don't think of it like that, Clementine. It'll only suck for a second. Or perhaps quite a while. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Sure. I think, I think someone, you, you might have seen someone uh, log in on Steam. Should I, should I log, log off of Steam? Good arm. Needle. Showed me. Hmm, how's, how's this gonna work? Wait, my finger. Oh. Hmm. 
But the first poke is the deepest. Well, the most painful. Mm. I've never uh, had stitches, so I'm not sure how this would feel. <laughs> it's really make, making us do every one like I, I was I thought maybe like it would just do, we would do like the first two and then the game would take over but uh job well done Did she, did she drop him or did she throw him on the ground or what? I'm not sure what happened there. Oh god, no! Q is just a very awkward button to like, like mash like that because it's just not a very good uh just a weird position if they come in they're, they're gonna notice that we've got a bandage on our arm which we didn't have before and smash for those intestines Still not bitten. Holy shit. What? Don't mind me. How the hell did it get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The no. shit should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? <laughs> that's what I was saying. Doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a you left me no choice. Already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Uh, game. Wait, was there supposed to be an option there? <laughs> I'm not... the, the, the pause is a bit weird. This might hurt a little. Ow. Only a little. How she left. Their suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite. If it was, the fever would have already set in, and the temperature would be through the roof. And all is well that ends well. What do you mean? What? I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. 
I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. Mm. She knew how bad the world is. What it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. It's weird that he knows th that we apparently we spoke to her, but we didn't actually mention her. She needs to grow up sometime. I don't. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what. <laughs> I, I knew that might that might get him a bit angry. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure: you are not to be trusted. I'll remember that. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some booze if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. I can't remember if um, the voice acting is much different. Like, a, in the first game, was Clementine doing like a like a more of a girly voice? Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for for being a dick out there. Apologies, I said. Aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely. We're out of the line, so I get it. Just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... We had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents? It's Sensitive subject, boy. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and, and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. man found me and took care of me we met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it but it didn't work his name was Lee he taught me how to survive 
he taught me how to shoot a gun. What happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. <laughs> yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyway. I was thinking about that when I saw the candles on the steps. Still here. Problem? I wouldn't be comfortable if I were you. <laughs> Luke invited me to stay. I could totally ask her about the baby. By eating food? Now go. I, re I really should have asked her about the baby. Get a bit emotional there, talking about Lee. got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. What's her problem? Well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any my idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend taught me. Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13 point buck just standing there on the ridge line. I'm going to call the video there folks because we're getting a bit long. But uh, next time we'll talk a bit more about hunting. It seems. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's Midsummer. Let's play The Walking Dead Season 2. Next time, look it out.